So there's nothing worse than your Fire Stick going into a boot loop where it will not load up. Your device will not load and your device, ah, it's stuck on this screen and it will not load and it will not load up. But good for you. Here, I have never, not once, in all my years dealing with Fire TV sticks, Fire Sticks, ever have I had a Fire TV device stuck in boot loop. And I must have had 10 to 20 Fire TV devices. I give them away. I add more than anybody would probably ever add onto a Fire TV device. I run apps to test them for you guys. I do different things with it and I've never had a device stuck in boot loop. And I'm gonna tell you how. So how you can prevent your device from going into that boot loop where it's stuck. It's stuck loading, will not load, will not open. On this video, we're gonna show you how to prevent it happening. On a video later in the week, I'm gonna show you how to stop it if you've already got it and how to fix it. That video will be coming in two days. So the first step on how to prevent it is to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Here we cover everything for your Fire Stick streaming devices. That's your first step. Your second step, if you've already got it, is wait a couple of days or go and check the channel out if you're watching this video at a later date. But once I've released a new video, how to stop it once you've already got it and how to fix it, I will link it underneath. But today, we're gonna look at how to prevent it happening because there's a few different steps. And different to what everybody says is keep your Fire TV stick fully updated, okay? You've got to keep it fully updated. But when you're keeping it fully updated, you have to have enough storage space on your device. So keeping space on your device is crucial. Do not run it to its limits. So the first thing we're going to do is go to your settings, all the way over to your settings tab, go down to My Fire TV, look in about and look at storage. Here, over the last few years, I have been telling people to have at least one gigabyte of storage on their device. Not only does it help you stream movies because you have space to download that temporary file to stream a film, also it will allow updates of applications and updates of the system itself to take place before it has to delete old files. So for instance, when you run an update on your Fire TV stick, it will install something, then it will delete something to make space for it when it replaces it. So it will install and then replace. But if you haven't got that room, it's going to get stuck. Again, this is very crucial. So make sure you've got at least one gigabyte of storage. To do that, however you have to do it, whether it's remove apps, um, remove files you have stored, that's one way. Always keep it up to date. I don't care what other people say. I don't care what other YouTubers might say. Keep your Fire TV stick up to date. I keep mine up to date and I always tell you guys to update it because they send you fixes all the time. They send you security patches which will stop a crucial element break in your device. It might be an application which needs blocking because it is bricking these Fire TV devices. It may be a, some form of malware which is bricking the device. Always keep it up to date. So you hit the check for update and keep it up to date. It's extremely important, but it, like I say, it's extremely important you have enough space for those updates to come in before it deletes the old update, the previous one, okay? They will all push fixes if they break something and it will direct out there. So it is important to keep it up to date. That is huge, okay? Those bits are really huge. Um, problem is a lot of people block updates. If you block an update and you've blocked updates in the past and then you suddenly think, oh, I need to update it now, it's getting a bit laggy, you might miss some updates. It might miss out some updates and update you to a later one without taking on one of those smaller parts in between. This could cause your device again to get stuck in that boot loop. And that's the last thing we want to do is get stuck in that boot loop, isn't it? Of course it is. So don't get stuck in that. Don't get stuck in that boot loop. You want to be keeping your device running perfectly fine. Again, that is two great tips I've given you. Another tip is always, again, I don't care what other people tell you, always power your Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube from the mains adapter that Amazon gave you. Do not power it from the TV. Do not power it from the TV. Sometimes your device might be running fine, but you might install a little bit more onto your device, which is running in the background, a little bit more on the device which is running in the background which then because you're powering it from not a strong enough power source it can't boot up 
okay? It can't boot up. So never power it from the TV. Even if you think you've got one of those um, USB drives which give out enough power, never power it from that. Power it from a multi-socket. And I'm sure many of you power it from the TV and it's fine. But if you want to prevent these in the future, I recommend, again, these are my recommendations and tips, somebody who's been dealing with these for years and never had a boot loop issue, I recommend always using the main power source, okay? Always using the main power source. That's another, for me, a great option. Another one, always install your apps from reliable sources. So if you're gonna install applications, do it from a reliable source. So you're not gonna put anything on there with malware, which would overheat your device. Overheat your device, which could also form that boot loop. So if you're gonna go reliable sources, obviously you've got my website is your first port of call. Um, you've got Freetech, you've got Lee TV, you've got Upgrade Guy, you've got Cord Cutters. All of these guys are out there, as always, bringing you all the best stuff. Tech Doctor UK, of course, talk to him every day. He's got many apps and great tutorials. But again, make sure you take on this advice. Again, my advice, you don't have to take it on, but this, in my opinion, is the best way to stop these boot loops happening. For any of you who have a boot loop, I'm gonna release a video in two days on how to launch your Fire TV device to stop the boot loop. And we're gonna do our best to fix it, okay? Anybody has any questions underneath, we will link a Discord channel. In our Discord, we have a team in there who will help you with any questions. And that's what it's all about, guys, okay? So those are some good tips. Make sure you're not running too much on there. Make sure you check for malware, viruses. We have a video underneath on how to do that as well. That is linked directly underneath for you in the description. So check out the description. And all those things will help you and stop your device going into boot loop like you see a lot of other people suffering with. Hope that helps. Remember, before you leave, the first tip was subscribe to the channel because we have all the tips and fixes on the channel, okay? That's where they're gonna be. Second thing, if you are after a VPN, which does help protect your device, this isn't to do with boot looping, but I would recommend using a VPN. Quick word from one of our partners, linked underneath is IP Vanish VPN, a great VPN and a 72% discount. If you have no idea what a VPN is, do check out the channel and you'll understand a lot more going through. As you watch your videos, you'll realize we use a VPN quite often in our videos and we use a VPN for different reasons for accessing different content throughout the year. So I hope you like that. We've got plenty of videos coming. Hope you like that video. Thank you for watching. I've been Doc Squiffy. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon.